Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anika, aka Sister Saint. And today's video, I am going to show you how I make my version of the Haitian Epis. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll also link down below um, the ingredients as well and maybe the portion size on how I make my portions of making my Haitian Epis, okay? <laughs> just a mixture of combination of ingredients that we use and we blend it all into one and we use that for our seasoning so it could be seasoning for either rice for chicken pork fish basically whatever you need it's just easier that instead of having all of these different seasoning you have all of your main seasoning and one blend I do have an example of what usually my ed piece looks like or what my mother's ed piece look like. I'm gonna go grab it. The ed piece comes out looking like this. Some of you guys might look like, ew, that looks so weird, but that's what the seasoning looks like. When you open it, it comes out looking like this. Let's see if I can mend my camera. It comes out looking like kind of like a porridge thingy. we can just put it in our seasoning and our food's already seasoned. If you're Haitian, you have epis. Um, if you're Puerto Rican, you have sofrito. Um, epis comes in many different colors or shades. Usually the ingredients that you have that are more red, it's gonna come out more red. If you have more ingredients that are orange, it'll come out more orange. And if you have more ingredients that are green, then it'll come out more green. Those are the main colors that epis show. I typically use to make my epis. Some of the things that are shown here, um, are not just the main ingredients. I don't have cilantro and I don't have sarson. Sarson is another ingredient that I use in my a piece that makes the food more red, but I happen to not have any today. So one of the main ingredients I also use is my peppers. As you can see here, I use these green peppers. I don't take out the seeds. Sometimes I do because I don't want them in my food. Sometimes I don't because I want the food to be spicy. I also have other kinds of peppers. These are were in the freezer. They're frozen up. I didn't want them to get messed up. I'll use these as well. Any of the colors. I also use garlic cloves. I use red onion. I only use red onion. I don't like white onion or the regular onion. So I always have this in my house, but I just love this in my food. I don't use turmeric a lot or cumin. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I just put it up there because it's another option that you could use as well. The reason I don't like using it is because it dyes anything it touches, anything that's white, yellow, whatever, it dyes it. So this is why I don't like using turmeric, but if you want to use turmeric, you can. Like I said, it gives your food a more of a color. It doesn't have a taste, but it gives it more color. So that's one reason why you can use it. I do use turmeric, I mean paprika as well. This is the, I think it's off-brand one. It doesn't matter, as long as it's paprika, it's good. Um, this also gives it color and a little bit of spice. I also use adobo, and this is by the Goya. This is the bitter orange, and this is the hot concentration. So it's hot con picante. These two, I always use these. I also use the hot Louisiana hot sauce. Like I said, sometimes I use hot sauce, sometimes I don't. You guys might think that, oh my gosh, there's so many spicy things. We're Haitian, we love spicy food, so it's, it's, it's nothing new. We also have our own homemade Haitian pepper sauce. So if you want, I can show you how we make our own Haitian style way. It's typical things, like I said, not everyone is able to get their hands on this or they want to use this because the ingredients in it. So we just make our own natural way one. So I can show you how I use that. So I use this as well. I also have to add a little bit of some oil. This is my canoil oil. I use just to break up the things so that they don't stick together and that way I don't have to put oil in my food when I'm cooking it because the epis will already have the oil. I also have the Prego Ragu sauce. Um, the reason I'm using this is because I don't have sauce and I don't want to use tomato paste. Usually I, let me show you that. Sometimes I usually put tomato paste when I'm cooking my rice especially or my chicken but I didn't want to use it because I didn't want to get stuck inside of my ginger blender. So I'm just going to use the 
Frigo traditional, that way it's just easier and it'll have a lot more inside of my egg piece. Another thing that I add is water. This is just warm temperature water just to make things more liquidy and not too thick. And the main ingredient is the vinegar. Um, same thing with the peppers, we use the vinegar. The vinegar gives it an extra kick and it saturates the seasoning together and it makes it a good cook. And also I use vinegar for a lot of things as well. So now after I showed you everything that I used, just to make the video not too long, I'm just gonna cut up everything and then I'm gonna show you how I blend all this stuff together, okay? Um, I don't know if you heard the word or the saying that I just pour to my soul to stop. I just do that. I don't really measure how much I pour. I just pour to how much I feel should go in. As you can see, this is how much is like that. Um, and this part, I just thought it would be easier just to do a speed through part. Basically, I'm just pouring everything that you've seen that I demonstrated that I put inside of my egg piece. Here, I'm just gonna pour all that inside of the container. So I'm just gonna speed through that part so that this is not a long video. Thanks. Also, disclaimer, um, it doesn't matter how much you put inside of your egg piece. It's whatever you prefer of how much you wanna put in. Like I said, I don't really measure. I just put in what I know that I want to be inside of the egg piece and what flavors should be taste. And that's how much I put in. I don't measure. The seasoning, I don't measure the oil, I just put enough that I feel that should be enough. And you can do that as well. If you want to measure it, you can. And it's this whatever is you what prefer. it looks like Woody, that's what you want you don't want it to be too thick and so that's how you make your egg piece so whatever food seasoning you want I will do a video of me using my egg piece to show you how it comes out so this is my egg piece and yeah so now you guys know how to make your own version of your Haitian egg piece if you don't want to do it this way you can do it your own other way so yeah that's how it should be. Yeah, thank you for watching if you want me to make some other Haitian dish I will and I'll show you how to do it thanks